ask uh, Dr. Nico, Pastor Dr. Nico, if you'll come and join me along with uh, General Orsayer Williams and uh, our chairman of our board, Dr. Taylor. And uh, you, you'll get an opportunity to see the beautiful plaque that will be placed out in uh, the Thurman Kurtzinger building. Uh, this is the fifth chair that has been established at the seminary, and again, it seems very fitting to me that our very first international chair is being established by Indonesia, uh, because again, as has been said by every speaker that's been here, we feel that special relationship with the church in Indonesia and believe that God is bringing East and West together in order to evangelize the world in these last days. And so, uh, Pastor Nico, this is just a, a commemorative plaque to give to you to, so you can look back and remember this day that uh, the chair was being inaugurated here at the Pentecostal Theological Seminary. And I'll not read the plaque, and it, I'm asking if you'll take time when we go out into the other building, you'll get a chance to read uh, the inscription there. But to say to you, Pastor Nico, this is just for you to remember this special day, and you can sense and feel that everyone who's come to this podium, whether it's been faculties, our student, our president, or our general overseer, anyone feels this kind of unity with the church in Indonesia. And I want to give this to you, and I want to ask these brethren to join me as we lay hands on you and pray with you for God's anointing to continue to be with you, but we also pray that this day will be remembered as long as we abide on this earth as one outstanding day for the Pentecostal Theological Seminary. Would you stand with me and would you lift your hands toward this podium and let's pray for God's special anointing upon the inauguration of this chair. Father, we thank you for the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the life of this uh, brother, this good man, who, Lord, has dedicated his life uh, to bringing the church, to understanding the meaning of prayer and praise and worship. And, Lord, we give gr great honor uh, to this man. But, Lord, we give honor to you because you have chosen him. And we give praise to you, God, because you have anointed him. And we give honor to you, God, because he has shown his unselfishness to want to share with people around the world. And God, we give honor and glory. And we ask God that because of the establishing of this chair at the Pentecostal Theological Seminary, that there will be revival in hundreds and thousands and yes father tens of thousands of churches around the world who will understand that you did not depart this earth you've not left us you are here with us and we have the same authority the same power and the same anointing as did the apostles and thank you for this apostle of god that you have sent to us and help us to be worthy of all of the blessings that you've placed upon us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we dedicate this chair for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Give the Lord praise. Praise God.